good afternoon everyone. Thank you for joining me today on Wednesday for my lunchtime crafting hour. My name is Michelle Pepper and you have joined me on the 16th of October um, on Wednesday. So uh, I am going to show you a couple of projects today. So let me just flip you around. Um, I had a slight hiccup just as I was coming on and the light, my ring light isn't working so I have gotten my son's uh, bedside lamp again <laughs> so hopefully that will work um, I know there's a bit of shadowing okay, is it straight? it's not very good alright, here we go so I think I want to show you this side Okay, how's that? That seems really dark. Is that better? <laughs> um, do pardon me. Oh gosh, I can't get this lighting. Hopefully that's fine. All right, so um, we're going to be playing with a stamp set from the mini catalog on page 42. You will see the decorative tree stamp bundle. Um, so I have it here. Let me just show it to you in, in this format. Um, and what have we got here? So you've got, we've got, um, it's a photopolymer stamp set with um, several greetings for Christmas, um, an outline of the tree plus the inside of the tree. And then we've got little baubles here, stars, and I don't know what that is. <laughs> just some leaf and yeah, anyway. Um, and then we have, uh, the coordinating die set which is the decorative tree trees dies and so it has seven, how many stamps it has 17 dies in here so you can see they are quite intricate looking ones so actually that's the outline and then um, then you have all these little intricate looking ones as well as the tinsels and lights um, and sorry, so there are 17 dies. Where's the other? The others are here. All right, so these are what we will be playing with today. Uh, I don't really like... Okay, hopefully it shows up better than what I can see here. Anyway, um, let me put this aside. So, today's cards, I have two cards to show you. Um, so, the first project is... Ta-da! Now, I have a confession. This is actually a case of a card that I saw um, from Andrea Sargent. I think that's her name. And, um, but also it's reminiscing of, um, reminiscent of um, some tree cards that were done in the past by Jackie Williams, um, where she has a row of trees. Um, and so I really like that look, and so uh, that's what we're doing. <laughs> so this is what I have for you. So it is a slimline cut, okay, so it's not our usual size. So I did try, um, I did consider doing it on our normal standard size, um, but it would mean that all these trees will have to be bunched up um, in order to fit in here. And I kind of thought, well, you know, one of um, the purpose of this, I mean, the, the reason we have all these beautiful die cards, I mean, it's a shame to actually have to bunch them all up and uh, not show too much of it. Like, you could fit three here comfortably, I think. But um, anyway, decided that if we elongate it, um, and then we'll get to show more of the trees. And, oh, I don't know, it's just something different, something special. So, um so this is slightly different, and so I do not have the right envelope for it. Um, so this is just the standard business um, envelope. So that's what you'll be getting, so that it actually fits in there. Okay. So let's get let's go through how we make this card. So as always, if um, I, I like to send you cards and uh, card kits, so that you can replicate and reproduce this card. And so um, the card kits will come with your um, 
Now this is the base, the card base, which is the basic white thick card base. Okay, and then now where is my bone folder? Here. So when you get it, um, you just simply want to use your bone folder to kind of crease it really well. Okay, so that it sits flatter. All right, so we've got, what? Oh, that one doesn't want to sit very flat actually. <laughs> Here we go. So we've got that. And then we've got two pieces um, of uh, mat. So one will go in the front and one will go on the inside. Okay, that just kind of makes things a little bit more special. Um, and then we have all these little bits and pieces which I have cut out. So as you can see, these are the glimmer paper from um, 2020, which one is that one? Is that 2022 or 2023? It is 2020, oh, it doesn't actually say. <laughs> oh, hang on, does it say? Hmm. Okay, um, I'm getting confused. <laughs> it's these colors. I can't remember. I think these are 2023 to 2025. Yeah. So okay. So I've um, we've got the glimmer paper and that comes in all these colors. So I have pre-cut them for you. Okay. So you'll get all these five colors and in all the five um, designs that I have cut out. So these there are three big ones and then two smaller ones. Okay. Whoops. These two are smaller and these three are bigger. Okay. So we've got all these here. Now, um, yours will come already with adhesive sheet, but mine, this one doesn't have adhesive sheet, so I will actually demonstrate that part as well. And then you'll have all these trees as well, okay, there will be five of them, um, all die cut, so we won't be using the negative, but I'm including them, so you can just have them and you can use it, um, but we are going to be using this positive um, bit. Now before we carry on further, let me just quickly demonstrate how to use the adhesive sheet if you haven't already used it before. So this one here, the backing, that one has got adhesive and this one doesn't. You can kind of tell the difference. One's um, whiter. Okay, so our adhesive sheet comes in Okay, so they are a packet of 12 and um, just this slightly. No, I do want you to see. Yeah, okay. And then they come in 6 by 12. Now, I think, I think I've got a dud one. I don't know. <laughs> I don't use it often because I keep forgetting that I have them. Um, but it doesn't seem to work the same way as what I've seen on other videos. So on one side, you can see that there are slits, right? There's one, two, okay, so there are three panels, all right? So there's um, six by, sorry, six inch by 12 inch. Okay, so you've got those. Um, but you see, my sticky bit is not on this side. It's actually on that side. Um, so I find that a little bit tricky um, compared to what I've seen with others. But anyhow, this is how I have to make mine work. Okay, so you basically you cut to the size that you want. So in this case, I might actually prefer to do it that way. Right, because then, um, then I get two. And then I just have a little bit of a left over here. Okay, so... Um, so that's how I would do it. I'll cut to size, okay? Right, and then, so let me just pull this out of the way because I have already cut one to size, which is that. So this is the bit where I find is the sticky bit. Okay, so whichever way it is, okay, whichever one you get, um, this is what you'll need to do. Okay, so if I were, so if I were to pull this off completely, this is my sticky part, so I want my sticky end to be on this side. And because it's cut to size, um, yeah, someone correct me. I mean, I don't know. Kathy, when you do watch this, Suzanne, when you do watch it, um, 
tell me what's wrong with my sheet because <laughs> this part here has no more sticky stickiness okay so it's the part that comes off uh, that peels off that seems to be where the sticky bit is but when I watch video of other people using their one it seems to be the other way so I don't know that's how it is with mine okay so that's so it's not accurate it's not like tidy but that's okay it will work so that's so now um, I've essentially got myself sticker okay sticker sheets here so then when I do cut out this for example right then that would be all sticky right I mean it will sorry you can peel the backing off and then it will be sticky so in my case it isn't so but this is how you do it in your case when you get the kit um i will make sure that it's all stuck on so you've got um you've actually got sticker sheets okay so let's see so we don't need this for this card i'm going to pull out all these so we've got one we should have five one for each color so all these are access requirement for Okay, so these are the test requirements. Okay, that one is access from here. So we've got one, two. So these you won't be using in this card, although you'll be using these three in the second card. Okay, so I'm going to put that aside for now because we don't need these. Okay, I'm going to put these on here. So this is what you need. You need one, two, three, four, five, and you have one, two, three, four, five. All right, here we go. And then you have, so let's work now with just these. Okay, what we want to do is we're going to color it. So as I said before, I case this card um, from Andrea Sargent. Um, thank you, Andrea. So um, now I think on her blog she did say she was going to make another card um, the opposite. So in, on her card she actually had the glimmer paper as the base and then she cut these intricate die cut. So she had glimmer paper for these and she had the die cut um, in white and then she um, had coloured them um, you know, with uh, like an ombre style. Um, of each color so we are essentially doing the opposite okay so we are starting with white and we have glimmer detail die cut okay so what am I going to do here so what I have done is I have bring out all those colors that we're using um, okay and then I'm going to get one of these blocks so this is just a C block and I'm going to use half of it in that color because I don't actually need a lot right? and then that was the peach pie then we have pretty in pink on the other half okay right, so we've got those two and then petunia pop so do the half if you have the re-enter, uh, then you, can, you just need to do a couple of drops each. Right, I'm just doing it this way. Because um, it's just a tiny amount. We don't need a lot. I'm just going to put that there. Okay. And then finally, that's the green lot. Okay, then all I want to do is get my brush. I'm using the big one. Okay, and I'm going to start with the, the lighter color. So I've got a pad of paper here. So these are just scrap paper. And I'm just going to kind of wet my leaf, my trees. I'm sure you can see them. But yeah, I'm just kind of giving it a wash. Okay, wetting it. Okay, and then I'm going to, yeah, I just want a very light color. Just giving it a bit of color. Okay. 
and it doesn't matter I'm just quite rustic with it and then my pink yep it's just that is all I want okay and then my petunia pop okay so I've only basically used um white paper here okay so I'm not using watercolor paper so just really um, it's just to give it some color yep and I'm just getting real wet here So there's no right or wrong really, I'm just going with the flow. Okay, so these two I find a bit hard to tell the difference sometimes. Um, the Shy Shamrock and the Summer Splash. But yeah, that's basically all I'm doing. I might want a bit more dark. Um, darker shade, okay, that's it. And then I'm going to let it dry. All right, so um, we can speed things up by using the heat tool. All right, um, and they dry fairly quickly. Okay, so okay, so then you've got these colors. So let me just move that out of the way. Is that better? Can you see it better that way? Oops. Let me just um, dry that off a little bit. Where is my cleaning tool? Oh my goodness, I don't. I do not know where my cleaning tool is. I'm just using my sleeve. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so you've got these. Okay, now we're gonna just let those dry. Um, but I have pre-done some so that we don't have to wait around. Yeah, so these are my five that I've done. So I'm just going to put these on the side here. Okay. Oh, let me just get this closer. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's done. So now those are ones that I've pre-done before. All right. And in fact, I should probably get rid of these because um, I don't really want it to get onto my... Let me just move them out of the way, somewhere safe. Um, that paper that I have crumpled. Look at these. Isn't it pretty? It's so pretty. So I'm going to put that in the side. Might be able to use that later. Maybe. Right, so let's have this nice clean space. Then we have our, so I'm just matching them. Right, that goes with that. That's the green one. That's actually like holly. I don't know if you can tell. Um, it's quite cute. And then there's that blue summer splash snowflakey thing. And there. So, very intricate. So mine I haven't had any stickers on I would have to use glue now I haven't actually taken all these things out either so if you are if you want to be careful you want to take all of them out that's fine I'm quite happy to leave some in um, but yeah so I won't be doing that painstakingly for each one that I sent out each kit that I sent out so if you could do that that would be wonderful because I've already done all the hard work right <laughs> Um, okay, so we will just use my, I'm quite comfortable using my green liquid glue. It's, I say green, it's only because the packaging is green, but the actual glue is white and when it dries, it dries clear. Um, but yeah, you'll probably hear me say green glue. It's actually not green. It's just that the packaging is green. Right, so then I will just 
And the great thing about liquid glue is it lets you move. Right. It has some time. Okay, and so I'm just gluing it like that. And there we have it. We have something sparkly and yummy. Okay, um, I'm going to try and show you and see if this works. Because I saw someone doing it. Um, I'm going to see if that helps. In the event where you have forgotten to use the um, adhesive sheet, so then pulling this part, where's the sticky bit? Okay, looks like that one, the bottom bit there is sticky. Okay, so that part isn't. Right, so then I should be able to do that. And see if I can pick up some glue out that way. Okay, so I've stuck that on. Let's see. <laughs> it might work. I don't know. Right, what do you think? It may have picked it up. <laughs> okay, and then now let's stick it on. Let's see if that works. So apparently that would have picked up some sticker. Okay, just take that on. And ta da! Apparently, it works. That's what happens. <laughs> okay, so that's second one. And then third one, I'm just going to go back to gluing. Um, I find it's just as easy. I don't know. But yeah, I, I, I get it that sometimes, um, you know, what works for one doesn't work with another. And so there are options. There are different ways. Okay, so and I'm just going to put this one on here. So you can see this is only half. This is, I mean, not, not the full length, okay, because this is a shorter. And so, what happened to my scissors? Ah, here we go. Just going to cut that off. Okay, just following the outline. Okay, but I do want the um, I do want this stink part. So I'm just going to put some glue there. <gasps> oh golly gosh! Okay, and then just having a little stump, like a tweet showing. Pick that up. That's fine. That's fine. I think. I have to move it. Oh, this is very, very intricate. Okay. Okay. So this is where, if I had been um, careful, and if I had thought ahead of time um, and used the um, adhesive sheet, it would make it a lot easier. And so when you get this kit, yours will have the sticker, the, yeah, the sticker behind it. So be much easier then your job will just have to find one part to peel it off and then you'll have immediate stickers how cool is that okay like i said i am quite happy 
um, not using adhesive sheet myself but I know I know my customers do like using them or some anyway and some of you have those fine tip glue which you find work just as well okay, so this is another small one so I'm going to cut that bit off and that bit off okay so get some glue here oops don't need that oh I keep doing that <laughs> Okay, there you go, and then this one's not too bad. Okay, so the, this is the time consuming bit, isn't it? Well, the time consuming bit is also the bit where I had die cut these. Um, but yeah, that's all been done for you. So you don't have to worry about that. I'm just going to glue that down. All right, there you go. Isn't that pretty? Can you guys see how pretty and shiny it is? Oh, such a glimmery card. Anyway, I'm going to actually get rid of the top sheet here because it had glue on it. And my hand feels a bit sticky and sometimes when my hand feels a bit sticky um, I kind of rub it on the silicone sheet um, just to get yep, all of that away and then we've got this all right so we don't need that one so now we just need to put this together mm. all right so we've got these now I, what I've done here in this card is I have sponged it with um, Petunia Pop. I did try and do um, shimmer, having a shimmer on these to see how I would like it. I don't know. Do I want shimmer? Because then, you know, I just can't, can't get enough of glitter and shimmer. So... What do you guys think? Should I try one with a shimmer? I think I might do that. It might not show up too much. It's just kind of, kind of have a bit of gold um, glare to it. So I have used the uh, metallic enamel effects. Um, and I've used the, sh the gold to give it a bit of a shimmer. So um, I don't know. What do you think? Should I do that? Or should I stick with the purple? Random. It does seem back to front. Yes! Thank you, Michelle. It was back to front, isn't it? It's really weird. I don't know whether I just got a dud pack and I've never noticed before until now when I went to use it. I've had those for a while. Okay. Ooh, can you tell? Shimmer or pink? Petunia pop. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do that <laughs> really random I'm gonna show you what I did to get that because you know what sponging looks like so I'm just gonna do this metallic one and um, I think that's the right sponge and yeah this is just really rustic no um, nothing hard about this really you just kind of I just drag it out okay I'm just trying to get a bit of shimmer on there so kind of almost looks like a graffiti background type thing okay I just want to give it a bit of shimmer and then I'll do the same on the opposite side I don't know, if you have these enam enamel um, effects, might as well use it, right? That's how I see it. The more shine, the better. Christmas card. Okay. I don't know, I think.
think I just want excuse to get really inky. Okay, so that's all I'm doing. Um, probably we can tell better once we've photographed it. Right, so I've got that. That's how I've done the... Okay, that feels dry. It's not very wet at all. Okay, now I'm going to lay these down. I'm going to start it that way. That one is too high there. Oh, that's thick. That's thick. Come, come. Okay, so I'm going to glue this down. flat and then I have that about here so I've just started on the edges and we bring them in okay then that will go somewhere there that will go somewhere here and that will kind of go over here something like that okay the only one that I'm going to have going on dimensionals is the one with the holly I don't know if that's actually sitting that well. Bring it down a bit. Okay, that probably didn't pick it up much. Okay, and just this. Alright, and then now this one, I can dimensionalize that. I don't know what happened there. Okay. Oh. Okay. How are we going for time? I feel like I've spent a lot of time on this. <laughs> it shouldn't be. Um, here we go. And then that just kind of goes something like that. Okay, and then that will go on here like that. So it is such a glittery card. So very festive. All right. Okay, here we go. And finally, we just need our greeting. <coughs> so, should be in your, um, <coughs> pardon me, in your kit, a black strip. And I am just going to, um, now where did it go? Just going to do a strip of that with our embossing buddy. All right, and then we have our words. May your days be merry. It came from the stamp set. Okay, and then let's probably do it right at the bottom here. Okay, getting the white powder. And right, it's gonna be a bit loud. We're going to do our embossing. And 
Get ten. Beautiful. Melt away. Shine away. Powder got low in a bit. Oh well. So we just have to do. Um, I'm gonna take out my little trusty guillotine thing because you can't buy these anymore. But it's so handy to have. Um, let me do that. Oops, that may have moved, but that's okay. Don't cut yourself while using that. And then that is going to go on dimensional right there. So this is where all the, the dimensional. And I think I'm going to have to double, double it, double the height, just because it's the middle bit. Double the height there on the edges. Okay. Pick that up. Okay, and then the middle can just be glue. Oops. Okay, and that will be where is it? Around here? <laughs> now you see it. Now you don't. Ta-da! I am super happy with that. Okay, and then, sorry, one more thing on the inside. So, um, we just need to do some stamping, and I will use these two. Um, Petunia Pop. Going to stamp on the in here, on the inside. And then... Um, in the blue season greeting okay and so now we have the inside of the card has been done we're gonna do the glue all right okay good as gold here we go No glimmer on the inside, but there's plenty of glimmer on the outside. How is that? Shiny, shiny, shiny. Okay, so that's our first card. All right. So, second card. Um, let me just cut, get rid of that one. Oops. There's some writing on this one. Some notes. <laughs> okay, second card is utilizing the negative. So, more glimmer. Oh, how do you like that, guys? So lovely, isn't it? Two glimmer cards. Okay, here we go. So, from your leftover, from the negative, you've got these three. Okay, so those are the three that we'll be using. Um, the other two, I have cut it, because they're the smaller ones, and I've cut it that orientation. So you can do that on another card. So I'm sure you know what to do with those. But we have these. And from that first card. So this kit, you will need those. We've got our card base in basic white thick again. And then we'll have the backing here in the um, black. Okay, and then we're going to have, so I've cut these two additional ones. So one will go there, that will go in the middle, and then that will go on the side here. So I'm going to work with this one here on the side first, because we're going to gold emboss that. Okay, so I just need this on here for placement. Actually, um, I should 
after this. Okay, every layer first. Just get the stuff out of the way. And then line this up. Okay. Line it up as best I can. And then don't move it. Um, and then I'm going to have a very Merry Christmas. Actually, where's that? Yeah, that one too. So we need that as well. Do it like this. So we've got that. Did I move it? Hopefully not. And then, yep. Very Merry Christmas. Okay, close that. And then I need my powder. Grab those powder again. Okay, carefully remove this without smudging it. And grab the powder. Okay, I'm just going to do it that way. Oops, no, that one should be seen. And then we're good to go. Nearly just about to tip that whole thing over. All right. Um, and then now we're going to emboss it. I'll show you again. I love embossing. Comment and let me know if you love embossing. Okay, I don't know if you heard me over that noise, but I said comment please and let me know if you love embossing. My favourite. Okay, that's it. So all we need to do with this one. Okay, now we're just using the glue, liquid glue otherwise known as green glue if you're just watching um, and this is our second card so I feel like there's a lot to do with this um, stamp set and bundle of dies um, so I've only really just showed you a little bit of what you can achieve with this All right and then I shall go Go middle first, shall I? So, yours would already, when you get the kit um, from me, yours would have the adhesive backing so you don't have to use liquid glue. Okay. But you saw that how I, I got to move it and that's the beauty of the liquid glue okay what do you guys think you <gasps> okay it should be it should be right size okay this is so glary, so um, shiny, shiny. Okay, just gonna be careful with this. Okay, I make it all a little bit difficult for me by not using the adhesive sheet. Um, So a little goes a long way, though, with this liquid glue. Um, so yeah, show you how cool it is. I'm 
oh, it's not glued properly. And just lift that up. Okay. Not going anywhere now. Oh, so pretty. And this one going to be tricky as well. See, there's a big area here that I can put a dollop of glue. And then I just kind of put that in its center. Oops. Good thing about this is that it does dry clear. Oopsie. <laughs> okay, done. Okay, done. And then that just basically go on there. And there you have it. We have two very glimmery cards. I hope you like these. I do. I wouldn't mind receiving them. If it is slightly longer, as you can see here, we can just chop that off. But I'm just going to leave it. So it's not too noticeable. And there you go. And I'll do the same thing on the inside as that. Um, just so I don't have to think. But you can do whatever you want, obviously. Got my tree on the inside here. <gasps> what is that? Okay. <laughs> Never mind. I don't know what I've done there. Oh, look, it's on my finger. Okay. Well, that was clever. What shall I do with that? What would you do? Uh huh. Bling bling. Yep, I hear you say bling bling. That's right. The old trick. The trick of all. All you need to do is find some bling. Okay. And hopefully my hand isn't all inky. I think it is. Oh, it's that color, that purple color. Right, just get a bling. And you would think it's meant to be. Maybe a small one. Well, this is a bit of flash. No, you don't, you won't be getting any more um glimmer because these are very glimmery cards okay but those are our project for today this week's project so they're both slimline uh, oversized card <laughs> um very very gl gl glitter glimmery um and i hope you enjoy um, the process of how these came about and um, yes that is what I have for you if you place an order with me this week um, if you place an order of $50 or more and um, yeah uh, and using my host code and then I will be sending you one two three four four card kits for you to complete to make these cards so that you have some Christmas cards, blingy Christmas cards on hand to give to friends and family. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you. I plan to see you next Wednesday, same time, different projects. Um, hope you have a good rest of the week. Cheers. Bye.